Hi. And for today's vlog, I thought we'd take a look at some of the decorations. I've no idea if we did this last year. I seem to think we might have, but you know, I think we've got about, I don't know, maybe about 300 more subscribers than what we had last year. So we're going to do it again. We're going to take a look at the Christmas tree, at the more special ornaments that are on there. <laughs> um, and just chat about where they're from, memories, and all that jazz. So first up is Rapunzel and Pascal. Um, I tend to like my Christmas decorations to look Christmassy, but Rapunzel is probably the exception on this tree. Um, my dad and stepmom got her for me, I think in 2016, and she's engraved on the little tag up here. Um, there's not a chance of me being able to read that though. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, she's the exception to the non-Christmassy ornaments. Actually, that's a lie, because there is a new edition this year that's also not Christmassy, but it's Disney, so we can forgive it. And next, pretty self-explanatory if you read it. <laughs> it was for the first Christmas in this very house back in 2016, and I got Josh this one. I can't remember who it was from. Um, it's someone I've known quite well, I used to write book reviews on her website but now she does um, wedding invites but she used to make Christmas ornaments as well so that's why I ordered this from. And the second exception to the non-Christmas rule is the Kyle and Ellie decoration which is the latest decoration for our tree and we got it this year purely because um, I was looking for an engagement decoration but we got engaged last Christmas However, it was too late on to get a decoration then. So rather than having one made this year that said 2018 on it, when I saw this, I thought we'd get this because we're having an up-themed wedding reception. So this kind of like encompasses the whole engagement and wedding. Um, but I will be adding a wedding decoration to this tree as well when we're married. Next up is this little guy and he's got a little friend somewhere who's got a Santa hat on. Um, these were some of the first Christmas decorations that we bought when we lived together at university. Um, so we moved to university in 2010. So I think, I'm pretty sure we got these in 2010 and we used to have a really little tree, didn't we, in our room. I say little, I think it was about four foot up. Um, and these are some of the first nice decorations that we collected for our tree and they've gone on ever since. Then we have this Mickey and there's Minnie somewhere on the tree. She looks exactly the same, but obviously it's Minnie Mouse. These are from Florida. We got these in 2018. Um, I think every time we go to Disney, we'll probably get an ornament from there. We do have some others that we got in 2015. However, they are extremely fragile and this tree is just not up to scratch to hold them this year. So we chose not to put them on the tree this year because Josh broke two last Christmas and I'd rather that the rest of them didn't get smashed this year. And another old uni one is this little wooden star. I don't think we used to hang it on the tree, we used to have like a, a notice board in his room because we lived in the same place for three years at uni. So I think we used to hang it on there um, but it goes on the tree now. Again I've no idea where I got it from, it's probably like an Etsy seller or something but we're talking almost ten years ago now so... <laughs> And of course, there had to be a cat decoration on the tree for my two little boyos. Um, I picked this one up from Chatsworth Christmas Market, I think, in 2017. But yeah, got to have my little boys represented on the tree. And finally, another home one that Josh got me back in 2016. Uh, yeah, we do. We actually have a third home one, but again, that's not made it onto the tree this year because. As I'm sure you've seen as we've been panning around the tree, it's uh, a little bit droopy. <laughs> so we chose not to put that one on either. But yeah. By the way, I am aware it's very hard to see because it is actually see-through. But it just says on it, our first Christmas in our new home 2016. And then the rest of the stuff is just made up of these Primark baubles. We have a few of those on there. We have a few big red and silver ones that I think were from Wilkinson's again when we first moved in together and then we've got some glittery ones as well that I really like because they always catch the light really nicely. I believe they're probably from either Wilkinson's or B&M as well. You get a similar sort of thing every year. So that was our Christmas tree. <laughs> 
Um, I like that we've got lots of stuff on there, like memories and things like that. And I'm sure, because obviously most of those have come from when we started living together in this house. And this is our fourth Christmas in this house. Um, so I'm sure over the years we will get many more special baubles. But they will be hung on an artificial tree from here on out. Because as you can see, that tree, we've not been able to hang a lot of the special ones on there because unfortunately it is a very, very weak tree. So uh, next year, we might do a tour of our artificial tree instead. <laughs> so if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel. And with that being said, we're going to get gone and we'll see you guys next time.